So, um, so almost everybody cheats and calls it at. That's an at sign. And then under that, you either have a uh, a hash of Sibling tag, like a do, and then uh, its first adder has value one, its second adder has value two. Do is the name. And then what, what would the X number be? Not this. And then goo would be. That closes. Who would be that? The XML equivalent would be It also has to keep track of like elements in an array. Because this, this assumes that there's only one goo. If there's multiple goos, then you have to have an array of, of these and an array of these. Um, so you can just have an array of these. Yeah. Array of these. It's just yeah. ugly. But I mean, what, it, what if you define attributes for stuff which are useful X, uh, metadata for XML, but well, not so, so I think we should document it that way, which is yeah. that nothing actually <laughs> should ever be an attribute. Yeah. And that should be in the best practices guide to be designated. Or else we should have an option to declare or in a program that you've decided for you really do want important things to be an attribute that you will crash and gulp and JSON. What what if Go in this example was a dictionary with a value of 23, A1 with a value of E1. You just say, well, if I have attributes in a value, then Go becomes, well, an, a, effectively a dictionary structure with those three fields in it. I mean, there, there are at least, probably at least four different schemes for doing this. Yeah. And they all have their ups and downs. Yeah. 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 But they're all ugly. Yeah.
JSON requires you to understand uh, what's, what's an array and what isn't. And uh, XML doesn't carry that information. So that could be something that could be an attribute. Yeah. Um, so we, uh, in, in Genos, we have libraries that round trip uh, by, by keeping stuff in. problem you run into there is that, that neither of those uh, encoding formats based on XML carry out of printed uh, out of printed in the usual in the usual kind of format of XML. And that's something that XML carries in So your initial comment was HTML as a, as a uh, red only format. Uh, but what if, what if it's not? What if that's the means of sorting while retaining the, the textual rendering? say, you know, your, your column two and column three, those, you can say, um, you know, give the X path, and the tool can say, well, I'm looking for the uh, data-x path field, and I'm looking for the uh, matches of the expression you gave me. <laughs> so really simple oh, example is remove the sort by size options from Alice and still be able to do that. 
Right. right. Well, now we're going to know. Ls minus Al height sort plus four minus Al. No, because we, we count Ikea and Ls as well, now. dash capital S because we want to be able to do Ls dash Maa sort by size. Yeah. Because we don't have what? Well, if, if it's only numbers, we're going to be humanizing in the thing that both. Oh, I was trying to be. Uh, Table, and you can see, let's put this right side up for you. Uh, you can see the data dash x path and the expression. So if I said I want to, I want to sort this by that x path, it's easy to find. Um, and then each each line of output is wrapped in this div of class line. Um, so how difficult would it be to have that information in the JSON? In the JSON, though, will it be CL and already parse these things and can do? It's it's not hard to carry the information. The hard part is rendering it back into text, because uh, because the encoding formats throw away. Um, uh, well, they throw away the, the you know each of these divs is something. XML containers and just namespace and, and carry them through. But if you're really wanting to, in the end, render it back into text, this is probably the easiest format to carry it in. But is it also the easiest format to sort? <laughs> Sorting would be finding the, you're saying sort every, sort. Uh, it's like the HTML input in Google JavaScript tables. You just put the columns and they sort out. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're saying sort, sort lines by the div whose, whose uh, data dash x path is whatever expression you gave. I mean but the numbers are, say, humanized. Joking, that makes it hard to sort in a way as well. Yeah, they don't sort. So. No, but, but the HTML carries in the data dash number yeah, uh, the attribute rule. the raw number. Yeah. Oh, OK. Will sort. OK, will sort. that will sort, yes. So if What he's telling you is this, this is the richest format in which to do what you want. So I, what I'm, I'm thinking, you know, everybody has a JavaScript, but there is a BSD licensed embeddable JavaScript interpreter that is actually not horrible. Um, and obviously not. So I, I think um, that they've been, have been fermented by browsers and done for it. So you can write massively multi-threaded JavaScript because obviously that's the language you want to do this. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, as a proof of concept, I wrote a little thing that would walk the file system tree um, and use uh, OpenSSH to do the SHA calculations. Uh, and it was actually faster than the OpenSSH tool written in C. Open SSL tool written in C because it used a bigger buffer size and that made more of a difference than yeah. writing the um, tool in a low level language. Yeah. Um, and you know, to do it in eight threads and so it can actually saturate my max SSD's bandwidth, yeah. which was really nice seeing that graph go up to two gigabytes a second in yeah. the yeah. of being processed um, to make my laptop very handy. Um, but I had a point. Yeah. Uh, and the point is, if we wanted to you know, embed this as a tool, um, how much DOM do we need to be able to make something like you know, sort by column or whatever it was? Um, and what would those findings look like? Because you know, I've written some FFI generators for uh, this. Write some more code that finds JavaScript, and if our libxo sort utility is a set of JavaScript scripts, that's actually a really nice way of getting people who are not C programmers involved in 3DSD based system stuff, which is something we want to do. Yeah. You know, we get. 
have people like Alex and then he tricks them into becoming sea programmers. <laughs> HTML that comes out of the shell is uh, very regular, very easy to parse, and doesn't doesn't include uh, a lot of the voodoo of XML or HTML. It is uh, X HTML. Um, so do we have a small library that can parse it and generate some structured representation? The the nice thing about There's JSON is it's a JavaScript object, so you can plug it into a JavaScript interpreter. And yeah. Um, but it, but it looks like JSON is the format that loses the most information out of all the ones we support. So does duct tape have a DOM parser? No. Um, we looked a little bit at adding one to uh, a web browser. We were using some demos, but it's a lot of work to support all of the DOM. Supporting a small amount So I, I have